Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Jesus wept over Jerusalem because they knew not the time of their visitation. We serve a God of times and seasons. At the end of every seven years, thou shalt make a release. Shiloh 2019 is the 21st Shiloh. And God has ordained to, to release us into that realm of no limits. May your package not be passed on to another. He wept. He said, because a time is coming when there will be an edge around you, dig a trench around you, and you begin to suffer calamities upon calamities. Because they knew not the time of their visitations. The world is becoming increasingly limited by virtue of the harshness of the environment. And God is saying, I want to empower you into realms of no limits. May you be able to see that reality. May you respond adequately to that opportunity. May no one's crown here be lost to another. Amos 412, and because this is what I will do, prepare thyself to meet thy God, O Israel. Therefore, thus will I do unto thee, O Israel, and because I will do this unto thee, prepare to meet thy God for your own package at Shiloh 2019. Him that overcome, not they, him. Prepare yourself in person to be a full partaker of this strange offer that will launch you and I into our realms of no limit. Prepare thyself. And what we are doing now is part of the preparation. Wash your clothes. Get on ground. You may not have a shower for five days. That won't spoil your life. It will decorate and recover your destiny. But don't, don't just toy with these opportunities. Grab it. Don't be religious. It's time to be real. Grab it. From 1979, I chose not to let nobody come between me and God. The time of brethren, let's go, is over. I'm gone if you're interested, follow. I can't wait for you and waste my life. I don't have a spare life. Prepare thyself to meet thy God. Lift up your two hands. Lord, whatever will rob me of my own access to the prophetic package ordained for me at Shiloh 2019, deliver me from it. Today, under this anointing, deliver me from it. From nonchalant attitude, I don't care attitude, what will happen will happen attitude. Deliver me from it. I want to be a full partaker of that prophetic package that will launch me into the realm of no limits. The realm of absolute authority over the kingdom of darkness. The realm of exploits. The realm of things that ears have not heard. Eyes have not seen nor ears heard nor has entered the heart of any man. 
Help me, Jesus. Help me, Lord. Help me, Jesus. Help me, Lord. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Please get seated. The mystery of the anointing oil came to light from God himself. In Exodus chapter 30, from verse 25, he instructed Moses on what to do, what to put together. And he said, shall be unto me an holy anointing oil. Thou shalt anoint Aaron, shall anoint Aaron and his sons that they may have capacity and ability to minister to me in the priest's office. And this shall be an holy anointing oil unto me throughout your generation. So its impact is generational. It doesn't win. The impact is growing. So today, as the content of your body is declared the holy anointing oil, everything you have heard in that message will become manifest in your life. Yeah. Every word you receive and believe, you are empowered to experience. So today, today, you will experience the yoke-breaking power of the word in your life. Yeah. Somebody was sick in the hospital and he heard me speak a prophetic word to his life that that incurable disease is gone today go to the hospital and Jesus met him it was a peculiar encounter like this and they couldn't trace tuberculosis they couldn't trace HIV AIDS, they couldn't take whatever it was that he carried everything leveled out and he was back on his feet today by this anointing somebody is fully back on his or her feet Every yoke of sin, every yoke of transgression that has had anybody bound over time, by this anointing, such yokes are declared destroyed. <laughs> Anyone that came here with any siege of sickness over his or her life, whatever sickness came with you to this service, shall never return back home with you. And it shall come to pass in that day that the burden of the wicked shall be taken from your shoulder, his yoke from your neck, and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Every yoke of the wicked on your life shall be destroyed right here. As soon as David was anointed, favor located him. Favor brought him from the backside of the desert to the palace. By chapter 17, he became a national hero and the envy of the king. Awesome God. Awesome God. The breakthrough you have been longing for has finally come. Many will share their breakthrough service, testimony from this service at Shiloh. Yeah. If that is you, let me hear your loudest amen. Yeah. Let me hear your loudest amen. Yeah. Take up those bottles, stand to your feet. Open the, the bottles up. As mentioned, please know that the third Sunday of every month is our special anointing service globally in this commission. If you're in Australia today, it's going on there. If you're in Malaysia, it's going on there. If you're in Canada, it's going on there. If you're in North America, it's going on there. In South America, it's going on there. Everywhere around the world, across Africa, it's going on today. Now, my prayer is that today's encounter will go down into your records. Yeah. 
no one will ever doubt your salvation again. Amen. You will never doubt your salvation again. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Godliness is a personal warfare. You have to personally win the battle. He that overcome, we are told, he that overcome, he she that overcome, not they, not we, he, she, he, she. No. You have to overcome it personally. It's a personal battle against your personal life and destiny. It's a battle against your eternity. There is no group by group entry into heaven. It's one by one. There is okay, members of this church come this way. One by one. He that overcome it. 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 Today you get on that list. <laughs> Sin will not rob you of your eternity. <laughs> Please don't overblame Judas. The Bible says, then Satan entered into Judas. <laughs> he was under remote control, sir. Judas was remotely controlled to offer Jesus for sale. So it's a battle. It's a battle. But by this anointing today, every hold of sin on your life is declared destroyed. The last evil you saw, road accident, air crisis, sea problem on the boat or the ship, robbery attacks, kidnapping experience, is the last you will ever see. This anointing oil will set a seal of exemption over your life. <laughs> and as we partake of the shot of this oil when you are instructed to, every chaff that may be in your system planted by the devil shall be consumed with unquenchable fire. Every malfunctioning organ in your system shall be preserved by the power of God. Shall be restored to perfect functioning. In line with the mystery of Matthew 3, 11 and 12. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. As I was coming after me, he shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit, with the Holy Ghost, and with fire. Whose fire in his hand, he will thoroughly purge his floor. He will gather the grace to the garner and burn off the chaff with unquenchable fire. By the short of this oil, when it's time to partake of it, every organ of your body is declared perfected. <laughs> And every chaff burnt with unquenchable fire. Yeah. All that believe in the efficacy of this ministry, put a little of this oil on your fingertip and straight to your forehead and begin to call those issues by name and calling them destroyed by the power of God. Call them destroyed by the power of God. 
Call them destroyed by the power of God. Call them destroyed by the power of God. Speak out. I'm free at last. I'm free forever. Free at last. I'm free forever. Free at last. I'm free forever. Free from the clutches of sin and transgression. Free from defeat and frustration. Free from stagnation to command on end and breakthroughs. Free from misfortune to come to enjoy the blessings of heaven. In Jesus' precious name we are praying. The favor that accompanies the righteous begins to speak in your life from now. The word says, Thou shalt compass the righteous about with favor as with a shield. The favor that distinguishes the righteous begins to locate you from today. And every of your struggle with that satanic habit, as this oil comes on your hair, those habits are destroyed from the root. I decree your instant healings and deliverance now. In the name of Jesus. That shall be a seal of exemption over your life. Your eyes shall see evil no more. In Jesus' precious name. All that believe in this mystery, get ready and take a shot of this oil and expect the flushing out of everything God has not planted from your system in the name of Jesus. Go ahead, in the name of Jesus, take a shot of the oil and glorify God. Cover your bottles, lift up your two hands, and let's sing our victory song. Let's celebrate this great God. Something has broken loose in your life. The hold of the enemy has been destroyed in your life. You are walking in victory from now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's celebrate God before we close in this service. And you are singing your victory song because your victory has finally landed. Favor will find you this week. All your mockers must celebrate your God this time. The siege of stagnation is broken off your life. In the name of Jesus. And so shall it be. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. I am redeemed. Let me hear you say I'm redeemed. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. And let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the redeemed of the Lord one more time say so. Give the Lord a big hand of prayer. I am free from condemnation. Jesus is the Lord of my salvation. I can run through and through and leap over the wall. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am free. I am free from condemnation. Jesus is the Lord. The Lord.
everybody may your encounter today remain a testimony for life many many Josephs are rising from here People that will hate sin with passion and love righteousness with great passion, they have risen from this service today. <laughs> you can't love anything perfectly and not hate the opposite perfectly. Thou lovest righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore, God has anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. As your love for righteousness is fired up, your hatred for sin and, of, and ungodliness comes alive today. <laughs> Do I not hate them that hate thee? David said. He said, I hate them with perfect hatred. Everything you have chosen to hate today, after this anointing, it shall be with perfect hatred. <laughs> the lust of the flesh shall no longer have a hold on your life. <laughs> the lust of the eye shall no longer have a hold on your life. 
the pride of life shall no longer have a hold on your life. In the name of Jesus, your captivity to sin is over today. And the favor that accompanies the righteous begins to manifest in your life from now. It's the dawn of a new day. Thank you, Father. Take all the praise. In the name of Jesus. He said, come and learn of me and make and lowly in heart you find rest of your soul because my yoke is easy and my body is light. Five days, five days can fast forward your life in a manner that 50 years of labor cannot accomplish. Please prepare to meet thy God at Shiloh. There will be a great demarcation between those that will receive the baptism of Shiloh and those who ignore it. The year 2020 will be a year of great demarcation between those who are on God's side and those who are otherwise. Please choose to be on God's side. I know that things that eyes have not seen, nor ears had, neither has entered the heart of any man, shall be the order of happenings in the life of every participant at Shiloh. It shall be a mountain of voices providing very clean direction. Much more importantly, God has spoken, it shall be a mountain of release of prophetic mantles. Whatever is happening in this commission will be duplicated supernaturally yeah. in the life of every participant. Yeah. So gather the over there. They say there is no room. There is ground. Amen. There is no ground. There is a tree to climb. Yeah. Whichever way, whatever will give you encounter, prepare yourself to meet thy God. I've never spoken to impress or to bamboozle anybody I speak the mind of God at all times. The Holy Ghost is saying, many, many at Shiloh will return as surprises to themselves. <laughs> Have you been blessed by the world today? <laughs> Have you encountered God through the mission of the anointing oil? <laughs> Lift up your two hands and give God thanks. Shall we together share the goodness of the Lord in fellowship? Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. I have dominion, and I take dominion. Congratulations. Help congratulate your neighbors to your right and to your left. Congratulations. If you came in after the worship offering was received in the third service, there are officials around the altar and various exits carrying late offering tags. Do well to drop your offering as you go and be blessed as you do. If you want to share your testimony in the fourth service, please take your bag, take your Bible, and then.